one of my mom's favorite dishes, seafood lasagna. So I've got a container of ricotta cheese here, full fat. I'm gonna add some thawed spinach that I have kind of rang out, took all the juice out. Got some artichoke hearts. And you can find this in like a jar in your vegetable aisle. I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese, a little salt, and some breadcrumbs. Growing up, my mom would always make lasagna. That is one of her favorite things to make. And one day, she decided to get real fancy and change up the lasagna. And she made a seafood lasagna with Alfredo sauce. And I have been craving that lasagna for a long time now. All right, so I'm mixing my ricotta with my mozzarella cheese. Now I'm gonna add one egg. And now I'm going to zest this lemon. So I'm just combining all of my ingredients. Got the ricotta, artichoke hearts, a little mozzarella, an egg, Italian breadcrumbs, and lemon zest. And now I'm gonna cook the seafood for my seafood lasagna. I'm gonna melt a few tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add two pounds of Charleston shrimp, some garlic that I've minced, and a little seafood seasoning. All right, so. I'm just gonna cook my shrimp until it turns opaque. It doesn't take shrimp to cook long at all. Woo -hoo! My mom is gonna smell this as soon as she hits that porch. All right, so my shrimp is cooked. Hmm, I could just eat this bowl of shrimp. So now I have some white wine here. I'm just gonna deglaze my pan. You see all that good seasoning and stuck on garlic that's at the bottom, that's gonna create a really nice like, essence to the seafood. Mm -hmm. A little lemon juice. I'm gonna cook this down just a little bit, reduce it by half, and then add in my crab meat. Ooh, that smells great. But you know what else smells good? The shrimp. And grab one. Mm -hmm. Quality control. This is how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm gonna add my lump crab meat. Now I'm gonna add my shrimp back into my pan here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna turn this off. And now I'm gonna make my bechamel. I'm gonna take unsalted butter, about a half a stick. I'm gonna melt this down and then add in flour. That's gonna help get this sauce nice and thick. So that looks great. Now I'm going to add three cups of whole milk. And I'm adding freshly grated nutmeg. Now, this is something that my mom never did. And I found throughout the years that freshly grated nutmeg just warms up the bechamel. And it gives this a, a little slightly like aromatic flavor. A little goes a long way with freshly grated nutmeg. One and a half cups of Romano cheese. Romano is, has that kind of like that nuttiness and saltiness that you get in Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit more. And this bechamel is just one of the twists on my mom's seafood lasagna. All right, so my bechamel has thickened. All right, mom, I'm gonna add a little bit of my bechamel sauce into that ricotta. Did I do that right? Mm, I didn't used to do it that way, but... I just put a little bit of the bechamel in there because it's gonna help loosen up the ricotta and make it a little bit more spreadable. That's okay, it. Okay, I can That's agree it. with that. <laughs> the next thing I remember is you put a little sauce down at the bottom. Always, and so it won't stick. So a little bit down at the bottom. They have a new thing, Mom. <laughs> what is the new thing, Cartier? It's ready to bake. You don't have to boil it. So these pasta sheets get nice and soft, like as if you would boil it just in the oven with heat. You know what? Even in the stores today, I still go for the ball. Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Roof, roof, I guess so. <laughs> put sauce down. Spread it all over this, the, the noodles. Mm -hmm. Let's put the ricotta down next. Looks good so far. Can you do the honors of by adding the seafood mixture? Sure I can. <laughs> Don't look over me like your grandma do. You know, that makes you nervous, you know, when we're in the kitchen and you know when your grandma does that. Oh my that, gosh, you can't stand that. That's that's not what I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm gonna get in here like grandma and help you out because oh, see? you're not spreading enough for isn't me. Isn't that something? You're you gotta me have my equal recipe, isn't that you something? You gotta have equal distribution. <laughs> I didn't know how you did, I just know it tasted good. Break and a half. Sauce, the ricotta and spinach and artichoke mixture. I'm repeating those same layers now. All 
All right, Mom, I'm gonna top it off with the last bit of sauce. Mm-hmm. Can you top it off with the rest of the uh, mozzarella cheese? Okay. Nice and even. <laughs> Are you telling me? Okay. <laughs> Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cover my lasagna and bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes and then bake it uncovered for an additional 15 minutes and that's gonna get it nice wow. and browned mm -hmm. and you're gonna see all those bubbles on the corners. Oh, I can't wait to see how this comes out. Hopefully it'll come out like it's supposed to. Or better. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that looks good. All right, it's getting there. We need some bubble and some brown. That's why you gotta take the top off. All right, Ma, you wanna see? Yes, you wanna let's see? see. Let's see what let's it looks see like. Let's see if it looks like yours. We gotta wait to see if it tastes like yours, though. Okay. Ooh, look, oh, look. Oh, now it's bubbling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this, cousins. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Ma, now I have to top it off with some more parsley. A little color, a little yes. herbiness. Ooh. Mm hmm. All right, Ma, let's dig in. Ooh, yes. Oh, that looks so good, it's Cartier. It's cheesy. There it is. There it is. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Let's see if this stands up to your recipe. I'll see. Mm -mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, I got something. How about a lasagna dip? I use the already cooked lasagna sheets, fry it, and use that to dip the lasagna dip with. Oh, oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I'm starting off with the bell pepper. I'm just gonna dice this up pretty finely. I'm gonna saute the bell peppers, the onions, and the garlic with my beef and Italian sausage. I'm gonna make a meat sauce with that. I'm gonna chop up my onion, and I have two cloves of garlic that I'm gonna mince up. All right, so I've got my onions, my bell pepper, my garlic minced up. I'm gonna come over here and fry it up. Hit my pan with some olive oil. My pot is hot. These. A little salt helps soften them up. The smell of something good starting, I'll tell you, as soon as oil hits garlic and onion, just, just unlocks all of your senses. <laughs> So this is mild Italian sausage that I have here and 80-20 ground beef. And what I like to do is break down my meat so it will no longer kind of be in that sausage link form. It smells incredible in here. And my favorite part of lasagna is this stuff, the meat, the cheese, and the ricotta. <laughs> I mean, I like the pasta, but if I could just eat the meat and the cheese, that's what I want to do. So, my meat has browned. Now it's time to build this sauce. I have some leftover pasta sauce here. This is about six ounces of tomato paste. All right, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water. I'm gonna eyeball it. Of course, we gotta season it. Some salt, pepper, a teaspoon of Sugar. Sugar helps cut the acidity. And so, I mean, my mom always added sugar in her pasta sauces, so I've been doing it ever since. A little bit of sugar goes a long way in tomato sauce. So I'm gonna let this cook down for about five to 10 minutes. While that's cooking down, I'm gonna make my bechamel sauce. I got two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna add in about a cup of whole milk. And with the bechamel sauce, you definitely want to keep whisking because you don't want it to burn at the bottom. This is starting to thicken up. I got some leftover Parmesan cheese, so I'm just going to put that in there. And I'm going to season this sauce. About a half a tablespoon of garlic powder, a little bit of Italian seasoning. You don't need it too much because dried herbs go a long way. Let me hit it up with a pinch of salt and some cracked black pepper. All right, so I'm gonna turn that heat off, grab my skillet, and assemble this dip. So take some of your, the bechamel sauce and just put it on top. 
I love to experiment in the kitchen. You know, I've been like that since I was younger. I think I've been like this my whole life. I just never was a type to kind of like go along with the program. I've always wanted to just do my own thing and, and kind of like go against the grain. Add it on the corner just like that. I'm getting all of that. All right, I got some whole milk ricotta here that I had in my fridge. I'm not gonna do anything special to this. I'm just gonna dollop it right on top. I love ricotta. Something about the flavor of it. It's gonna give it a really nice creamy texture when it cooks. That's it. All right, I got some Italian blend cheese here. So when this melts, it's gonna get all bubbly. It's gonna rise up. This is gonna brown on top. It's gonna be cheesy. Last but not least, I'm going to cut up some fresh parsley, just to add a little bit of greenery, a little herbiness. Oh, look at that, y'all. My oven is preheated to 375. I'm gonna bake this until it gets golden brown. I think it'll take me, it'll take about 30 minutes. And I also, because I know how my lasagna likes to spill over, I have a sheet pan at the bottom there to catch any of those drippings. Got some lasagna sheets here. We're gonna make lasagna chips. Let me grab my dip. Grab my dip. Oh, oh y'all. All right, let me grab a plate. I, gotta, I mean, I have to sit down and really enjoy the creation I just made. I mean, mm. vegetable lasagna, and I'm using yellow squash and zucchini. I'm cutting my vegetables on a slight bias here. Add some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Give it a little mix. My grill is nice and hot. I'm not gonna leave them on the grill too long, just until they get that nice little char lines on there. Remember, the veggies are gonna continue to cook in the oven. You know, I, I'm a Southern woman and I eat a lot of Southern food. It's nice to change it up sometimes. And actually, growing up, my mom's favorite meal to make was lasagna. And that's how I learned how to make lasagna. And she learned how to make lasagna from her Uncle Tony. And I remember Uncle Tony, he was actually my favorite uncle before he passed away. And he could make a mean lasagna. While these grill, I'm going to get started on my sauce. Olive oil, fresh garlic, tomato paste. I'm using crushed tomatoes, paste, and tomato sauce. I like a really chunky sauce. And because I'm not using meat and I'm using vegetables, I need something with little substance. Tomato sauce. Crushed tomatoes. And that gives you that really nice, fresh tomatoey flavor. And it's gonna give this sauce a really great texture. Looks like my veggies need to be flipped. You see, that's all I wanted to do was get those nice grilled lines. You always think lasagna is very heavy. Vegetable lasagna is very light, very flavorful. And adding these grill marks, you're gonna get some of that grill flavor. Let the other side grill. Continue with my sauce. Red wine, third cup. It makes it really, really robust. And don't worry about it, the alcohol will cook out and all of the flavors will remain. Tablespoon of Italian seasoning a half a teaspoon of ground fennel. It just gives it this nice little like licorice flavor that I really like. Oh, those are beautiful. One bay leaf, salt and pepper. And because tomato sauce is very acidic, I like to add sugar. I say about two teaspoons, some fresh parsley, give it a chop, add it to the pot. In 20 minutes, this is gonna be very, very delicious. But if you have the time, if you wanna cook it earlier in the day, you can, it's gonna be even more delicious, but it's fine in 20 minutes. All right, put that on, let me get started on my ricotta. So I like to use about a pound of ricotta. Mm-hmm. So transport myself to Italy. And oh, I can't wait till I add the mozzarella. <laughs> a nice helping of grated Parmesan, some mozzarella. I like using fresh mozzarella because it has a little less moisture, and once it melts, it's gonna have a really nice stretch. I need to add some salt, about a half a cup of milk. 
Like with anything that I cook, I like building layers of flavor and lasagna is exactly that, layers of flavor. The thing about ricotta cheese is that it can really stretch and get really liquidy if you don't add an egg. Smell the char on the veggies, I smell that sauce going back there. I'm really excited about this lasagna. My ricotta mixture is done. Let me get my sauce and start building this lasagna. I've got my nine by 13 casserole dish and I'm using oven ready lasagna. When I first started making lasagnas, you have to boil it and deal with that flimsy little pasta and everything's slipping and everything's going all over the place. You don't have to worry about that because these lasagna sheets are dry. The first thing I like to do is add a little sauce in the casserole dish because it helps prevent the pasta from sticking. Mix it around here. Now I'm gonna add my oven ready lasagna sheets. Fit it to however you like. It's like kind of like a, a puzzle. There you go. Another layer of sauce. Adding my veggies. Now this lovely ricotta mixture. Whew. So that looks good. I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing until I get to the very top or until I run out of noodles. I like to make a little design on the top because you know you see the top layer, so try to make it cute. That same fresh mozzarella I use in the ricotta mixture, it's going to get nice and golden and melty. Parmesan cheese, fresh basil. I like the flavor of sweet basil, especially with a good pasta sauce. With lasagna, it's always best to start off with it covered so the noodles and the sauce and everything melts and gets nice and cooked. Then I uncover it and let it bake for an additional 15 minutes so all the cheese will melt on top and it's gonna get nice and golden brown. It's time to uncover my lasagna. Mm. Yes, Whew. that smells delicious. Oh, baby. I immediately smell the sauce, I'm smelling the basil, I smell the fresh veggies. That needs about 15 more minutes. I just want the top to get nice, brown, and bubbly. My lasagna is done. Oh, oh, look at that. This is gorgeous. It's nice and brown on top. The cheese has nicely melted. Oh, wow. Did y'all bring your appetite? Mm -hmm. Of course we did. Yes. Yes. The oldest boy will get his first corner. Okay, this is a oh, big piece. Yeah. He's a fireman, you know, he yeah. deserves this. He's been saving lives. Yeah. Oh, oh, amazing. That's nice. Look at all those layers. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. The lasagna is absolutely amazing.